Hey, what's going on guys? Root from NoShell.com here today, and we're looking at even more Python. Today we're going to be checking out Python's uh, function scope. And this isn't, like, only exclusive to Python or anything. This seems to be a common thing in, like, all programming languages and all computer languages, like C++, Python, Java, uh, PHP, you name it. If it, Scope is something that I feel like makes perfect sense but it might be a little hard to think of at that same time. The, the idea is when you define a function, the things that you create inside that function are only exclusive, are only accessible and like usable and seen and visible, whatever word you want to use, they're only seen inside that function and any functions below that. And now you can think of below as sort of like layers, like as if you had maybe an onion, I don't know, but just each each piece of it. You have the global scope where like the main function runs and the variables that are created in there will be accessible from the functions inside that, but functions inside the global scope will not be able to have variables that are seen inside the global scope. See, when I explain it and I speak it, I talk about it verbally, it, it might be a little hard to picture. But if we open up idle, and uh, we create a new program, a new window. I'm gonna get my shebang started. Environment Python. I'm gonna save this as uh, file.python. There we go. Overwrite that. Let's do. Uh, let's let's run a function. And we'll define get info. We don't have any parameters. I'm gonna make a little bit of white space here. And then we'll run get info. So now if we do kind of what we did in the last video, if we do user input equals raw input, uh, what should we say? And then print, let's say, tab, and then user input. When we run this, what should we say? Oh, I should have made a new line there. Urkaburger. Let's say Urkaburger. Now, when we go back to the program, I'm just going to add the new line here so it works okay. If we, outside of the get info function, tried to display the user input variable, it's going to, like, have a heart attack. Give it a go. Let's run a function. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the matter here? Name error. The name user input is not defined in line 10. So we're on line 10. I can see that down at the bottom of idle. And uh, printing user input, it's it's going to give me an error because user input is not in this scope. It's only inside the get info function, this one right here. But that's interesting. What if we what if we had x? Let's say in the in the uppermost layer, x equals four. And then what if we printed x inside the function. Will that make sense? Let's comment out this line here in case we ever need it again. I really doubt it, but let's hit F5, get our program going. Let's run a function. What should we say? Herpaderpaderp. Let's say herpaderpaderp, and then it displays 4. Huh. Okay. So we have that sort of layered structure. Any, any variables that are above these systems and these methods and these functions will be accessible in those methods and those functions and those things. But any anything, any variables below of another function will not be able to call those because they aren't created in that scope. Huh. Does that make sense? <laughs> when you see it in action, it's it's a lot different from hearing it or, or maybe when you read it and you have a visual display or that sort of thing. All those things do not work. It's strange. What if we did... What if we did x equals 4 in here? Actually, x equals 5. Then we did x equals 4, actually x equals 3 over here. Let's print uh, x outside the function first time. Let's print x inside the function once, and then let's print it again after we've set it inside inside the function. And then let's print it outside the function once more. And then once we reset it, we will print it again. So we're just printing X a whole bunch of times, so it looks a little dumb, but hey. <laughs> Alright, clean that up a little bit. And yeah, that's, that looks good to me. 
User input might actually give us a problem. We should kill that. F5. Okay, let's run a function. Um, four. Okay, that's good. We print it again. Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, what should we say? No, no. Wait a second. Oh, I see, I see. Because we did, we called uh, get info after we reset things. Okay. Let's try that again after. Okay, so now if we do get info before, if we can see up at the top here, we're setting X to 4 at first, then we print out X. So X is 4, that makes sense. So what should we say? Let's just say, um, John Madden. Football. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, 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 local variable X referenced before assignment. So let's print X. What line is that? Line 11. Are we on line 11? Yeah, we are. Interesting. So now, if we get rid of this, though, if we don't at least set it, it should still be... Let's give it a go again. What should we say? Football! <laughs> we get four. Okay, so it's letting us use that above... The, it's letting us use the the x that's above the function, but if we were to set x inside the function, it has a problem with that. We can only display it after we set it if we create a new one. Let's try it again. Um, here comes another Chinese earthquake. Let's say, here comes another Chinese earthquake, we get 5, x equals 5, we print x. Okay, now we get that 5, and then we're printing x again, because x is no longer 5 in the scope, it's still 4, because we haven't modified it outside of the getInfo function. And then we have x equals 3 at that last bit, and it changes back to x equals 3. Huh. Okay, that, that's curious, that's, that's interesting, the rules that you have to be able to... Uh, declare x inside the function without using the the uh, the one the layer above that, and if you're going to display it, if you're going to reset it, and that sort of thing. So that might take a little bit of time to be able to understand, but I feel like it makes sense after after you look at it in a grander sense, in a in a, in a bigger picture. I don't know. That's just that might just be me, but. The more you practice with it, the more you play with that idea, the more prosperous you will become. And uh, that's kind of the idea that I want you guys to have after watching this video today. Thank you guys for watching. It'd be awesome if you could give me a like, maybe leave a comment, maybe subscribe. I don't know that that's that you're doing. But uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye. If I can get my goddamn terminal up. The hell?